hanging out with me today. I finally got in those under sink organizers that I was talking about in my grow haul and I think it is time to do some organizing in the kitchen. I'm also gonna organize the drawer. Um, I found this if you watched my laundry room clean out. I've been looking for this. I knew I had a piece and I wanted to put it in my little uh, like utensil drawer. That's floating in front of my face. Because um, when I open the drawer, the little, I have like little organizer things, they shift around and it makes me crazy. So I'm going to put that in there. If I may end up doing it tomorrow because I didn't stop at the, um, I need to go to Dollar General. No. Is it Dollar General? No. Family Dollar. <laughs> I don't know. One of those Dollar Trees. The only one that's here other than Dollar Tree. I think it's Family Dollar. Um, I need to get more of those, um, I don't know where I stuck them, but, um, those backsplash things that I had picked up. I need, I think, two more for behind the sink. I think I had enough for the um, behind the stove area, but I do need at least one more. I'll probably get two for the sink area so that I can get that um, finished. I'm just tired of looking at it. And I've had them for a while. But, um, yeah, so I may end up doing that one tomorrow because I didn't go there today. Um, so you'll just see me in a different outfit. Because <laughs> uh, I have to do laundry tomorrow and, you know, all the fun things that I really don't want to do. But it's a, it's a necessity. So anyway, I am going to put it together the under shelf thing first and then we'll go right over into the kitchen because you know my space is so gigantic <laughs> um, yeah as you can tell this space is still in need of some love this space over here is still in need of some love. It's an ongoing process. I will eventually get there and probably by the time I get there, it will be time to move. <laughs> oh, that's how my life seems to go. But I'm getting better and things are improving vastly faster. So, all right, I'm going to pull out the... Uh, you don't know what I'm looking at. The shelf thing, because it's, I think it needs to be assembled. It shows a wrench on the box, and I really hope it doesn't need a wrench, because I don't think I know where the one is. So, uh, I'll be right back with that, and I'm going to put it together. Here it is. You can see the, the wrench on the box. I hope that just means it's considered a tool, maybe? I don't know. I have to read the instructions. Well, reading the instructions didn't really help much.
because instructions show. Oh, I see what happened. Two of the things fell apart because <laughs> they're like slidey. I was like, wait a minute. I only have two that look like this one, but these two, the bottom part fell out. Duh. All right, back to work then. Cause they're, the instructions are just pictures. And <laughs> I was like, none of this, none of this looks the way that it shows on the picture. All right. Alright, that was pretty simple. I didn't even need tools. There it is. It just has these little screw-on things that look like knobs from the uh, sink. <laughs> so it expands pretty wide. It's a pretty decent height. And then it has a whole bunch of these little snap-on shelf pieces so you can, you know, move them around like pipes and stuff like that. So we're going to move over into the kitchen and I'm going to get this stuff. I'm going to have to pull everything out of there. It's going to be, it's going to be a thing. So I guess we shall get We turned around into the kitchen. <laughs> we went like way far, you know, big trip. So I got my little folding stool because it's nice to sit on. And uh, let me show you the space we're going to be working on first. I was debating whether I wanted to do the drawer first, but I think this is going to take longer. So we'll see how long it takes and then if it's too long, I'll just do the drawer and the backsplash. That's where I wanted to put the backsplash area. Um, we talked about that in, I don't know, a long time ago. A video a long time ago. <laughs> so we'll get this space done and then um, see how long it takes. I'm going to be speeding up like most of the footage, so I'm not going to explain everything under my sink. For goodness sakes, it's like mostly cleaning stuff, so. Okay, let's get it started. All right, now for the big reveal, my mess under the sink. Take it off the tripod so I can kind of show you what's going on under here. There we go. Let's get up close and personal with this stuff. See how far it goes back in there? And yeah, there's like just a lot of things. Some ice packs. Got a little crate back there. Trash bags, just a little bit of everything in here. 
you can see it's been making me crazy. So uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is uh, just pulling everything out so we can get this party started. All right. I just realized I should move these up. So I'm going to do that real quick. Frodo, as usual, needs to supervise. I also forgot to put the little um, rubber thingies in there, so let me go grab those. I'm beginning to doubt myself because of these this garbage disposal thing, but we shall see.
beginning to think I'm going to have to put it together like inside there because the garbage disposal thing is kind of a pain in the butt or at least take like I think if I take this rod off and then put it in there and then put the rod back on I think that will do it. Taking it apart and putting it in there and then now I just have to screw it back together which should be all right because I can squish it back kind of small so I can get my hands in there. Oh, that was that was a little bit uh, hard but then I got a lot of space up in the front to like can you even see that no there we go I've got a lot of space in the front, so I've got a lot of storage in the back, and then a lot of space in the front. All right, going back to fast. All right, well, because of the way the sink is configured, let me uh, pull you off. Because of the way it's configured, you can kind of see there that the upper part is pretty much not usable. I suppose if I dropped, dropped these down a few, but then I would lose a lot of space. They've just got a lot going on under here. So I can at least use the middle section and the bottom, which still gives me a lot more space and I can always hang some spray bottles, I guess, from there. I don't know. We'll see what I can do with this thing. It's not ideal, but it still gives me a bit more and if I need to I guess I could move these guys up and just utilize you know let's start filling and see what we need because I can utilize that little bit of space that's back there that's caused by the fire extinguisher being in my way and there's also a little bit of space left in the very back that I can put things that I don't use, like these bulbs. They can go all the way back there, because I don't use them. I've already got LED bulbs in all of my lights, so those are just extras, really. They last forever, so. All right, let me put you back in the tripod and Get started on this thing.
All right, I think that's as good as it's gonna get. I don't know if it really looks any better. Let's take a closer look. It at least has like some levels there. I can fit everything without it looking like, well, it just does kind of look like it's all just jumbled on top of each other. <laughs> it's slightly more organized though. But did we really make a difference? Who the heck knows? It at least feels a little bit better. But I mean, really, I'm the only one who looks under here. And as long as I can get into it, I'm pretty happy with that. This is... Those are the extra shelves. Those are bags I probably don't really need. And then this is trash. These are um, rose seeds I'm gonna stick. I need to put these two things elsewhere. And then those are my snowflake lights. Um, that is a, I don't know if I just said that, but it's a plant light that I may need over the winter. So there we go. That looks better, I guess. All right, that part is done. It may not look like, you know, a ton better. <laughs> it's not, like I said, I'm the only person who ever goes in that cabinet. Even my husband does not ever go in that cabinet. So, I mean, if somebody wants to come over and look under my sink, well, they might actually be able to find something this time, maybe. I don't know. It's done, and I can move on to the next task, which is going to be this drawer over here that you can't see in this shot. There it is, this drawer. Um, I'm going to see. I've, I've been wanting one of these with the little, like, plastic stuff inside. So I bought one. Is it going to work? I don't know. I don't know if it's going to fit. It is from the Dollar Tree. And then I have this um, no slip stuff that I want to put in there. Let me bring you a little closer. Um, do we really need, do I need to talk during this? No, I don't think so. I'll just fast forward through it. First thing I want to see is if this thing matches. I have a lot of stuff in here. Let me show you the before. All right, that's what, that's what we're working with here. As you can see, this guy, it slides all over the place and gets wonky whenever I open the drawer. So it always ends up like that. And I hate it because I want it to be just like that. So I have like everything in here. My husband has like 15 bazillion knives in here. Um, this thing doesn't belong in here at all. It is a like um, sauce bowl. It matches my little dish that I have for breakfast. I can go with, uh, with those. Oh, see, I have have the soup spoon that matches it as well. This is my husband's set, and his matches his stuff. So let's see. This is the container. I want to see if it matches this size. I think it's bigger though. And I don't think I can afford to lose any space on it. Yeah, it's like that much, that much of a difference. Just barely. I'll see if I can make it work, but I don't think it's going to work because that stuff just barely fits in there.
I think that looks 1,000 times better, and I think think it will um, not move. Around. Yeah, they don't want to move. Even with me pulling on them, they don't want to move. So that's good. So I took out the gigantic. 22 inch knife and the oh sorry I took out the gigantic 22 inch knife that was in here and the gigantic meat slicing knife and I'm gonna put them in the cabinet because they don't ever get used and I was able to fit a lot more into this drawer because I could push all this stuff over and then I didn't have to have this gigantic basket to fit these um, offset spatulas in, because they couldn't just slide on the side right there. So I was able to use this nicer basket and then fit my measuring cups here and they won't slide because of the grippy stuff. My scissors, well, they even fit in this thing. Right? They just used to stick up and uh, I don't even know why we have this because we don't eat pizza, not frozen pizza. Well, I don't eat pizza at all, but I don't know. Let's see if we can configure it in there a little bit better. There, that's better. There, that's better. And then can opener, which I need to get a new one because this one's starting to fail on me. And I still have a little bit of space. Look at that. So there's the after. I mean, it's not a huge difference, but it's better-ish. <laughs> As you can tell, <clears throat> most of my silverware is still in the dishwasher because I don't ever put it away. Alrighty, as promised, here I am. Different outfit. Next day, <laughs> we're gonna I stopped at, it's family dollar, um, I stopped and got two more of these guys for this area, um, can you see it? No, not really, let me move, let me move this, there we go, it's this space right here that we're going to be working on, it just gets really gross 
because this this is like I realize I'm not on the camera at all um, this is like flat paint and it's not very good flat paint so it gets really like grungy and gross hang on I'll take this up and show you an up close all right so that's the up close of it you can kind of see how it just gets really icky so yeah I don't know how far I want to go um, what is that I don't know maybe to here maybe to the light switch I don't know this was a Dollar Tree um, hack that I did it's an over the door hook that I took over the door part off. These are my collection of mugs. I don't drink coffee, but I have some mugs. I especially love, this one's my favorite. This is like my fall mug that stays up all year. It's from the 70s, I think. Yeah, 1976, if you can see that. By Saltera. I just love the owl and He's like so 70s, it's just amazing. And then these are some Fire King mugs, I believe. Uh, yeah, it's upside down. Fire King. You can see that. Fire King Ovenware, which is a mug. Who needs to put their mug in the oven? And this one is like French or something, I don't know. Um. Archipel, France. I just thought they were pretty, and uh, I never use them. But anyway, back to the task at hand. Let me put you back in the tripod, and we'll start working on this bad boy. All right, I'm gonna just not really talk about this. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. I already cut the two that I already had to the size that I needed. Well, I didn't cut them all the way through. I just gave them a little slice when I pre-measured them. So I'm going to cut these and then stick them up here. So I'm just going to fast forward it probably. So uh, yeah, we get to doing it. Alright, so that's what it ended up looking like. It's not too bad. I was a little iffy as to whether it was going to stick because if you notice, 
when you cut it, like the plastic <laughs> comes off. Like this, this is this is the sticky bit, and then this is just uh, the. But you know, I have poster tack, and if it starts to fall down, I can just tack it up there with poster tack, no problem. I like it though. I think it really matches the kitchen, and I think it looks pretty darn good. I kind of had to slice a little bit around this phone doodad because I don't need it. I'm not going to use it. Yeah. I don't know how that's going to stick there, but we shall see. We shall see how well this adhesive works. So I've got some some scraps down here. So I can use them for another project. And we're gonna go across the kitchen to this side. And this is what I got from this side to go back here behind behind the stove. I only needed two because I'll need two complete ones and then a little scrap to go like at the very the very end right here. So let me get the tripod back and we'll fix that part. Because you can see, it just gets really greasy back there and I would like to just be able to... I really like this thing because it's actually, it like sticks on the wall. So if these guys don't do a good job staying, I may just go get another one of these if I can find it. I got this at the Dollar Tree. But it does an amazing job. It's mylar, and I can just wipe it. All, I, like I can spray cleaner on it, and it stays really clean. So, all right, let me put back on the tripod, and we'll get going on this guy. It wasn't the best solution, but nobody really comes over here but me and my husband when we cook, so I figured that a little bit of tape would fix the gap right there so we won't get grease and stuff under it. So I think it does look a lot better in the long run. Like I said, if it doesn't end up working well. I'll just go get another one of these guys. But I think it looks nice. And I only had to use two. I still have some a little bit left over if I need to make any repairs. more pink in the video than it is in real life. It don't matter. I like it. It looks fine. I might end up taping the seams on this side just to make sure it stays up there, but we'll see. Anyway, uh, I will tack this footage onto my kitchen um, 
whatever I was doing in here, cleaning, <laughs> cleaning out the drawer and under the sink. So I'll just add this in and that will be that. So that's that. I managed to get everything that I really wanted to have done, done. Is it perfect? Nope. Do I really care? Not really. It's better than it was and it's a little bit more functional. Things look a little bit better. Nobody comes to my house to look at my drawers. I mean, if you want to come over and look at my drawers, be my guest. <laughs> You're gonna see the junk that I have. I, I gained another organizing basket. Don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I need to put this guy away. Yeah, this is a sauce, like a little um, soy sauce dish or sushi, which I also don't eat anymore. These chopsticks that I bought, I didn't realize that they had very naughty uh, pictures on them when I bought them. <laughs> I just, I saw them in the, in the same store that I got my dishes. They were there. I was like, oh, those are cute. Let me pick them up. And when I got home and showed them to my husband, he was like, uh, did you see what those pictures are? I was like, no, I just picked them up. Yeah, they're a little bit uh, risque going on there. Oh well. It is what it is, so... Thank you so much for joining me today. Watching me fail under my sink. <laughs> oh, that... that shelf was an epic fail under there. I think it's going to go better in the bathroom because there's not as much going on like in that space. So I, I think it's going to work better in the bathroom. But thanks for watching me struggle and fail and trying to get the result that I wanted. It's better than it was so that's really all I wanted. A little bit more organized. I can fit more stuff in there. It doesn't look like it's all going to come tumbling out or all come tumbling out when I open that uh, cabinet every time. So thank you for joining me. Peace out. And remember that the world is full of all kinds of wonderful, kind, amazing, beautiful people. And if you're not able to find one out there, you can always be one. Bye for now.